What's going on? Hopefully you can hear me over the laser table. It's going, plasma table. It's going. We're at off road and on today. We're building my new buggy. Um, we've been playing on this for a while. This is something I've been kind of keeping behind the scenes. Um, we've already done all the planning, but as you see, you know, we're getting some stuff done. So I'll take you over there, show you the laser table, and then throw you through a time lapse so all these parts can cut out. Got a bunch of the parts the table just cut out. They gotta go through the sander. Thing is sweet. And look how shiny that is. Crazy. It goes from that to that. That's awesome. So I'm going to get all these busted out and show you after they're all clean. Oh. Too long? No. Wait, where I want for squaring off or where the little nub looks at. Oh. Uh, All right, now the sanding and everything's done. Um, we got everything laid out on the table, and uh, I'm gonna kind of explain what we're gonna do. So I'm at Off Road Anonymous. Um, see, there's badass buggy, an even cooler Bronco. The list goes on. Anyway, uh, Jacob's helping me with uh, my new project, my YJ buggy, and um, he did all this on CAD, and we cut it out today, and been sanding and getting it laid out. So this is going to take my stock steering box and move it five inches forward, but we're not using a stock frame. Here's my LS mounts, stuff like that, fish plates, a body mount, but here's 24 feet of uh, 3 16 2 by 3 rectangular, and then I have 140 feet right there of tube for the whole rest of the back half. So this is going to be the subframe right here. Um, my lower link mounts, we're doing four link, three link front. So this right here will actually, um, on this one you can see better, the two by three frame will actually go in and then hit that back stop back there on both sides. And then it'll get welded all the way around both sides. And um, with that, we have everything designed in for the LS motor mounts um, and the upper link mounts for four link and three link. 
and um, it'll be basically a full custom frame and everything will be all custom on this thing. Take a look at all this stuff. Then we'll be able to bolt in a skid plate on the bottom so we'll have a complete, completely flat belly. Um, it's gonna be 105 wheelbase with 37s and at ride height with seven inches of up travel, it should be uh, right on 23 inches-ish to the belly with uh, my 14-inch uh, Kings from a f probably a couple videos ago. But uh, it's pretty sweet. Check out some of this other stuff. Rock Bouncer with uh, a Whipple supercharger and a 14-bolt steer axle in the rear that he also did. And then this is basically uh, this is a Platinum Bronco. Right now it's getting a new Coyote motor in it, brand new. Um, it's running a nine inch and a 44, I'm pretty sure. But this is kind of what my frame is gonna look like. Just like that subframe down there, just like we have over on the table. This one's running trailing arms and stuff like that. And with coilovers and bypasses. And he's done this from start to finish. Everything in here. And then some other projects, but this is the main cool stuff. The other stuff he hasn't touched really. Square body on coilovers, another YJ over there. But um, make sure to go check out his page. It'll be linked down below. He's, uh, he's killing it. This thing is way cooler than I thought it was gonna be and I couldn't be happier. So go check out his page, make sure to like on Facebook and Instagram, I'll put both in there and uh, follow him on Instagram and like the page on Facebook. But for now, we're gonna get out of here. We've been here all day, last like week basically, working on this stuff, getting it all together. So until next, oh, right here, this too. On the bottom of the engine mounts, is gonna be for uh, the cradle to go across underneath the pan and back. So it'll be completely flat on the belly and everything will bolt in. Crazy. I could not think of all this stuff. It's wild. Like I said, I'm getting out of here. It's late. Gonna get all this stuff loaded on the trailer, the tube anyway, to go home so it's not taking up shop space and uh, we'll check back in when we hit the next portion of this build. So quick video after the video. Um, all those parts on the table, this is kind of what it's going to look, well, this is exactly what it's going to look like. Um, front and rear sway bars, um, the axle's already set at full bump, basically. And as you see, uh, the fish plates, the wench mount plate, and all that stuff. And um, you can kind of see sway bar moving. Then we've got body mount, 